Hello, my name is Gabriel from Kamak USA. In this video, we're going to repair, or we are going to try to repair this power supply. So in this case, uh, the fan is not working. So I'm going to show you uh, right now. I'm going to change the camera so that way you can see. So as you can see here, we have the, the fan. I hope it will zoom in better. Okay, so now that you can see, we're going to connect the power supply, the power, the power core. And you see it's making some noise, but it's not doing anything. So in this case, because it's not doing anything, we're going to try to replace the fin. Uh, now that you can see it maybe a little bit better, I'll, I'll try to, to connect it again so that way you can see. You see, uh, barely, barely moving. So the, I think this, this should be easy. This should be easy, just removing the, these screws that we have here. Uh, we should be able to remove and replace the fan. Or another thing that we can do is we can try to put some oil. Meanwhile, we wait for the replacement. So we will see how bad is it and if there is, not, if there is nothing else that is broken inside because sometimes when there is not enough uh, airflow inside some component will get damaged so we will see how bad this is it um, we will decide if it is worth it to repair it or just throw it away now we are going to remove these screws here Okay, now that we have uh, removed the, the cover, we have this plastic here. We have the fan here, we're going to remove it. It seems yeah, it seems like it's just dirty. It's kind of odd because usually these kind of fans, they last for a very long time. But in this case, we will see if we have to clean it or just re re replace it all. So if you have something that is not working properly and you, maybe you can put some oil on it just until you get the, the new replacement. Otherwise, you will have some issue because usually when you put some oil, they don't last very long time. So I'm going to remove it from here. Okay, after cleaning this little fan with a brush, it seems like it's spinning just fine. So it looks like it's okay, but even, even though I don't trust much about this, so just in case if it has uh, any issue, I try to get another unit like this. I'll try to show you. Okay, as you can see, this is the model, just in case you can pause the video. And that way you can buy something like this. In case if, if you have to buy one or just buy one just in case because you know uh, they might be hard to find sometimes I went to eBay and I, I didn't see a, the exact model but I, I saw something similar so that is what I order and otherwise if you if you want to put some oil you should usually you can uh, remove this sticker I put some uh, Teflon oil and that should do the trick and meanwhile we are going to put it back as it was before So now I'm going to put everything With the screws and everything and I'll show you that is is working 
or if you want, before I, I mean, just always make sure that you're not going to touch any, any part of the electronics, but make sure that you're going to be aware of that. Also, these are the capacitors, they are charged, so if you touch them in the other side in the contact, they will shock you. Okay, now we just put all the screws back together. Uh, now we are going to connect it so that way you can see. Okay, if you don't see it spinning, at least you hear the noise. So it seems like it's working. Uh, I'm going to leave it for a while working. Uh, let's see. If it lasts, otherwise I'll replace the whole fan and uh, that's it. So it, every, everything was uh, pretty easy in the worst case scenario, easy to change. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any other question, please leave, a, leave it in the section below and see you next class.